it's a whole new episode. Or is it a Vespasode? Boys and girls, here we are. <clears throat> we are going to meet our other friend, Dumpster Fire 2. She is a 1979 Vespa P125X. Don't ask me what the X actually stands for. But uh, 125? That would be the original displacement from Piaggio, the manufacturer of the Vespa machines. And uh, the P, well, that's the P series of bikes. That is the last manual shift, four speed, manual clutch, two stroke, kickstart, uh, full metal body scooter that Vespa made. Uh, there were variations in 150 and 200 cc's that uh, existed through the 80s and even into the early to mid 90s I believe with the PX125, I'm sorry 150 and some other displacements around the world. Let's give her a little look-see and uh, see just what makes this a dumpster fire. You can tell the paint she's seen her better days. Uh, this is characteristic of silver Vespas from the 1970s. Um, for whatever reason, the silver paint that Piaggio used was just absolute garbage. This one wasn't bad when I got it, but that was about 5,000 miles ago. And uh, weather, riding, use, and time have not been kind to it. Uh, I do have a plan. We'll revisit that later. You might notice this example it says P200E on the cowl. That's because these are cowls from another bike. Um, I was working on trying to refinish the original ones to so this bike. Uh, they're still in the basement. They might get used, they might not. I kind of like the tuxedo look of the black with the silver, but uh, we'll see what happens. It's one of the things that makes Vespas unique. Um, Single-sided forks. You can see direct access to the hub. That allows for an easy tire change in the event of a flat tire. You have a swing arm, trailing style, supported by a hydraulic dampener and coil spring. Um, these are shocks off of a Stella, which is a derivative of the Vespa design. Um, but yeah, these were takeoffs and they are much better than the originals that would have been on here. They came with it, so I'm using them until they don't work anymore. 
Your rear is a single sided swing arm suspension. Again, for easy tire changes, easy maintenance. Also, no chain, it is a direct gear drive. Everything happens on the right hand side of the scooter over here. Let's take that cowl off and take a look. This is a P series power plant right here. Engine, transmission, swing arm, suspension, all combined into one. Uh, she may be crusty, but she is trusty. She's one loyal little beast. Uh, in about three years time, I have put just over 5,000 miles on it and had really zero issues. Uh, the very minimal amount of maintenance that these things take is just astounding. They just keep going and going and going. Uh, it is air cooled, so the crank spins big fan, which blows air through the shroud over the cylinder and cylinder head. Uh, you can see inside the flywheel there, you have a stator and a set of coils to actuate the ignition. The ignition on this is a points ignition. The P125, unlike the P200, did not have an electronic ignition. Um, I'm actually a fan of the points. I've had fewer problems with points ignitions than I have with the um, electronic ignitions. I don't have to worry about a CDI box going bad. I can always file, adjust the points, clean them if need be. Uh, right on top here, that's your housing for your carburetor, kept inside a box that is fed air, which is sourced from underneath the seat and fuel tank, helps it uh, draw cleaner air than if it was directly pulling air from along the road. Uh, let's see, you've got your ignition coil on the back there, which feeds a spark plug lead to the top of the cylinder head. There's your kickstarter. This little guy down here, that is your shifter control box. There's a set of cables and a push-pull arrangement which go up through the frame so through that center tunnel because there's no actual rigid frame on this. The body is the frame. And they make their way all the way up to that left side hand grip which incorporates the clutch as well as the shifter mechanism. You rotate it forward and backward to shift one, neutral, two, three, and four. And then over on the right hand side is your traditional front brake, just like a regular motorcycle layout. You need to replace the seat cover. These things are not exactly UV stable. Um, for the time being, I'll probably just add some duct tape to it, but I do need to get a new vinyl seat cover. Your seat does open and underneath you find fuel tank and your oil tank yes oil tank even though it is a two-stroke you do not pre-mix your fuel and your oil this has a secondary tank which holds about a liter of uh, two-stroke specific oil back in the day they specified non-detergent 30 weight automotive oil as a um, as a, an acceptable oil for two-stroke motors I dislike it it uh, leaves too much carbon it doesn't provide as much protection and leads to earlier cylinder wear which just means you have to spend money and exert effort now that we've done a little walk around and you've been made familiar with dumpster fire 2 the P125 how about we show you how it works step one Ignition. Step two, switch the engine stop switch to the run position. Step three, set your fuel to the on position. Step four, check to make sure you are in neutral. Little twist there. And unlike what people think of when they see Harleys where they get on the bike, just kickstart it. Don't do that. You'll just hurt yourself. Step up next to it. Take one foot. 90 degrees to the other, and... There she is. Now, the cool thing about a Vespa, that headlight is powered directly by the running engine. So, if, even if your battery goes dead, you still have a headlight. 
it will get brighter as you rev it up. Let's see. That's because it's running off the generator directly on that flywheel that we saw that also runs the ignition. I'm going to go for a ride. And here we are, roughly 20 miles later, all by back road and gravel path to the town of Bluemont. This is exactly what these little machines are for. Cruising the countryside, taking it all in, smelling the sweet smell of hay being cut and turned for the first time in the season, waving to your neighbors, seeing a historic site like this built at the Snickers Gap on Blue Ridge Mountains in Virginia, and just soaking up some weekend. I really shouldn't call this thing a dumpster fire. It just looks like one. It's super reliable. I've ridden hundreds of miles in a single sitting, going to rallies and events, city to city. You just don't take the interstate. You just kind of hang out and soak it all in. But uh, future plans? There's a few. Uh, that can of spray paint that was inside the uh, glove box. What I'm going to do, I think I'm going to take a Scotch Bright pad, you know, one of the green scrubbies like you use for uh, doing dishes, and I'm going to give this whole thing a rub down on all the silver paint. And uh, just to get any scale off of it, get the loose pieces off. And then I'll probably just give it a quick tape up on some of the trim, maybe polish some of the stainless, and bomb it with that clear. That's a semi gloss clear. Go ahead and embrace the rattiness. Yeah, I know. Patina. Everybody does patina. But I know me. If I tear this thing down to a bare frame and try and sort all the parts, it'll be years before I get it done, if ever. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna enjoy it as it is. We're gonna maintain it. This season, it got new rims and tires and new inner tubes. Uh, it's had some recent cable replacement for the uh, throttle cable, and I've gone through and adjusted everything. The only thing she needs right now is a new battery. Uh, I'd like to be able to ride at night because the battery runs the tail light and, uh, and the signals and the horn, uh, while the headlight is run directly off the engine. So I'm sitting here doing that, you know, left arm up, left arm out, left arm down thing to signal those behind me as to my intentions. Uh, maybe in the near future. I'll be able to take you on a ride with me. Uh, I'll have to find a way to source a uh, GoPro or similar camera and a mount, and then maybe we can uh, go out and ride together. In the meantime, keep wrenching. Click the like button, click the subscribe button, ring the bell, and live that dumpster fire life.